Hey guys, it's Jessica. So today we did not have school. Um, this week public school is out for their winter break and we weren't planning on taking the week off. I was planning on doing kind of like a light school throughout the week, but um, because a lot of my daughter's friends and cousins and stuff were off this week, we just, I ended up taking the week off. It's Thursday now, so. I was like, you know what, we'll just take the week off and have fun. So last night, our cousin, our, my niece and nephew, and my kids' cousin spent the nights. So we had five kids here, because we have three, and it was so much fun. They had a blast. They stayed up till midnight. We got up today. We played outside all day, and I wish it was daylight outside, because I would take you out and show you my driveway. It is covered in crushed ore beads, those water bead things, and... The kids had so much fun. I mean, they played with those for about four hours today. We put them in our water table, and I should have videoed some of that because it was hilarious. And then we had a huge Orbeez fight. We threw them at each other, and then we put them all in buckets, and we threw them up in the air and let them all fall on us, and they crushed everywhere. And then the ones that didn't crush, we just stomped them. So the whole driveway is just it's just covered in those cr that crushed... Um, water beads or bee stuff, but it was fun. But anyways, we didn't do school today. We didn't do school all week. My kids ended up, because they, they didn't have school to do and they don't have school to do tomorrow, um, they ended up spending the night with their Grammy tonight. And so my husband and I decided to have a date night um, on a Thursday, and it was fun, and we went out to eat. We went to Mexican, and it was so good. And then we... Um, we were gonna go see a movie, but we had like 40 minutes, so we went to Office Max because why not Office Max, you know? Pins and stuff. I bought two workbooks while I was there. Some like I bought the Spectrum Math and Spectrum Reading. My daughter's not big on workbooks, but I thought this would be nice for her to do in the car sometimes because we're in the car a lot and I'm always trying to find things for her to do so we can take advantage of that time. We live about 30 minutes away from everything, so we're in the car at least an hour a day if we go anywhere, which I do not like to stay home all day. And usually we have stuff we have to do anyway, so like library or going to the park or going to work or going, I don't know, lots of stuff. So, you know, we need to take advantage of that car time. So I got workbooks for that. <laughs> She's gonna, when she comes home tomorrow, like, I bought you some workbooks. She's not going to be so excited, but that's okay. I also got a little incentive chart <laughs> because I already knew she was going to be like, really? But she just needs to do something in the car. And a lot of times she tries to read, but her brother and sister are kind of loud in the car. So it's hard for her to read and I can't hear her reading. So I don't like her to do her like daily reading that much in the car and most of the time I'm driving. Sometimes we're with my husband, but I can't read to her, so she has to do something kind of written, but something that doesn't take too much concentration. So this, both of these workbooks are like practice stuff, so I thought that would be good. Anyways, okay, yeah. So after that, after Office Max, we were about to go to the movie, and my husband and I were both like, mm, we're kind of tired, and it would be so nice to just go home and lay in our bed, and we have a big like, pull down um like a projector with a big pull down what do you call those things a projection screen i don't know so anyways we were like we could just what home theater he said he's like yelling at me from the bedroom anyways um we were like we could just go watch a movie in the bed and put on our pajamas so i've already put on my like lounging clothes but i was cold so i put a flannel on oh it's very soft <laughs> Anyways, yeah, but date night was fun, and I'm just excited to be home. It is 8 o'clock, and we're home. <laughs> it's actually 8.13, and we're home from our date, but it was fun. And after this video, I'm going to go lay down, and then I'm probably going to sleep late tomorrow morning, too, and then go pick up the kids, and hubby's going to go to work. He's probably going to go in late tomorrow to work also, which we own our own business, so that's okay. Um, I'm trying to see, I keep looking away, but I'm look, I wanted to show you guys our kittens. I wanted them to come. They usually are like hanging right next to me. So I figured they would just naturally come up during the video, but they haven't yet. Come here, girls. We have three cats right now. <clears throat> our very first cat that we got, Addie, I've had her 
since before I had children. So probably I've had her about 10 years, I think, nine or 10 years. And she is one of those cats that she was a rescue and something was kind of wrong with her foot and we kind of like nursed her back to health and she loves me, but she just doesn't care for anyone else. She's a little bit antisocial, <laughs> but she's a really sweet cat and she's mellowed out a good bit. She's, she's getting older now and stuff, but um, then we have these two stray kittens that we found and well, they're not kittens. They're just young cats. They're these two and they're sisters. They're both girls. And they are the most loving cats. They're like the complete opposite of my first cat, Addie. I call her my cat because no one else wants to claim her in the family. But um, she is, uh, I'm sorry, the, kit, the, the kittens, the girls, the sisters, they are super loving and sweet. But, <laughs> much to our surprise, we found out that they are both currently pregnant. So... We are gonna have kittens soon. And we're gonna have lots of them because we have two pregnant cats. And um, my daughter is working really, really hard right now to convince me and her dad to keep one of them. And honestly, like if you know me, I'm an animal lover, so it's not gonna be hard to convince me, but it's gonna be hard to convince her dad. So she has been working nonstop. She already, the two stray cats were kind of hers because she kind of talked us into it and it was the, one of those things where like okay we can get them but you have to take care of them and clean out their litter box and so she's been doing really good with that and you know her dad keeps reminding her that if she has another cat that it's going to be even more work to clean it up come here kitty come here come here <laughs> well one of them is a bobtail and her name is cupcake and then the one with the regular size tail, her name is Cuddles. And the kids did name them. Come here, Cupcake. Come on. Come here. She's slowly coming. She's pregnant, so. Oh, you're going to come too, Cuddles? Come here. Oh, we're in Georgia, so if anybody in Georgia wants a kitten in about 8 to 10 weeks, depending on how long it is till they have one, let me know. Come here. This is Cupcake. Say hi. And then, oh, there's Kaidos. Hi, Kaidos. Can you see their bellies? Oh, they're so big. Um. Anyways, my daughter's very excited. I'm kind of excited. I know I shouldn't be because it's not a good thing that they're having kittens, but I'm excited. But, I mean, we're just going to keep them all until we find them all good homes. I'm not going to take them to a vet or anything, but I may contact some um, like rescues or animal control to help me find people, but I'm just going to keep them here until we find them all homes. <laughs> what are you doing? They're really funny. And I, oh, I wish I could get a video of it, but Cuddles was sleeping on the bed this morning and you could just see all this movement inside of her stomach. It was so interesting to see that in a cat. Obviously I've seen that myself <laughs> when I was pregnant, but to see that on a cat was really cool. So I'm kind of excited about that. But we're using this as an opportunity, even though, um, you know, it is what it is. But we're using it as an opportunity to learn. So my daughter's been watching tons of videos on how to take care of pregnant cats and what to expect during the labor and the birth. And she's eight and she's very prepared. But I've always just kind of talked to her about what things are like. I mean, I've even talked to her about um, like her birth and stuff like that. So she's already kind of like, she knows about stuff, but she's excited about it. She's not grossed out at all. We've watched actual videos on YouTube and she's like, oh, that's so cool. So I don't know, maybe she has like a future in the medical field or as a veterinarian or something because she does, she's not bothered by it at all. I was like, oh, <laughs> but she was like, oh, that's so cool. But I love it. So it's pretty exciting. It's kind of fun and learning all about it. And we've learned a lot about just what to expect and um, how long cats are pregnant for and even my son who's five it opened up a really good discussion about mammals and how they feed their babies milk and stuff like that so you know always learning always taking every opportunity we can but it's pretty cool the cats are neat and then they're just as sweet as ever um, if anybody you know knows I'm kind of curious if I should separate them once they have the kittens or like if they're going to get aggressive towards one another because they are sisters so they 
Oh, some of them popped up on the screen. Sorry. They are sisters, so they love each other right now. I mean, but I don't know. We'll see. So, hopefully. And the only other thing I wanted to show you guys while I was on this video was my table. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, I really want to show them this table because I'm so excited. <laughs> my husband made our table and benches in our kitchen. Um... Two years ago? Two, two, two or three years ago. Anyways, because, well, yeah, it must have been two years ago because I was pregnant with our third child and we only had one of those tables that would fit in our kitchen that had four chairs at it. I'm like, well, we can't all fit at the table. We can't sit together. We'll have five people. So, and our, we don't have a dining room and our kitchen's kind of small. So the only thing we can figure out was to build an actual built-in bench and table. And now we can see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people at this table. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm like, we can have more kids now. <laughs> but anyways, let me see if I can show you guys. All right, so there's the, um, ah, the bench right there. And it goes all the way across the back too. And then, hi hey, kitty on the table. And there's the, the table. And then my husband did this cool design on the bottom, so it's kind of like a farmhouse table. But the only thing is, it had these big, like, gaps in it. Well, they weren't huge, but you can see this right here. And that made it really hard to clean. So that part was kind of annoying. And <laughs> we kept getting angry about it. And then finally it was like, Let's just get some wood putty, wood putty, wood filler, whatever, and put it in it, and then we can sand it. So we just finished putting the the wood filler in it, and then we're just gonna sand the whole table one good time and then stain it. And I'm so excited. I feel like I have a brand new table because no, there's no crumbs getting stuck in the crack and I can clean it again. So I don't know. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyways, it's pretty cool having like so much room now. And our kitchen's small. It's just ooh. there's our kitchen so we have our kitchen and then this little area right here for a table and then there's no dining room because like right there is the living room and the front entryway so we needed something and this bench is amazing I love it I love it okay I did have to throw away like half the pillows that I had on here though because the kids kept spilling stuff on them so I need a good pillow that I can clean Ugh. anyways you guys have to deal with that like pillows in the dining room I don't think that's a good idea I think I should just take all the pillows off <laughs> just say forget it all right but anyways so no school this week and I have not done a video since summer probably because I've been so busy with school Homeschool takes up so much time, but I need to start doing it again. So tonight I was just like, I don't have anything in particular, but I'm just going to talk and do a video. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you want to see, what kind of videos you want to see. Um, I'm homeschooling a five-year-old and an eight-year-old, and then I have a two-year-old, and that's pretty much it. But I'll talk to you guys later, and y'all have a good evening. Bye-bye.